for watercolour paper, it's not the really heavy one, it's just it's 200 gram, but that's fine for this. So you want a watercolour paper or a heavy cartridge. You don't want anything too thin, so you're putting watercolour on top of it. So, um, first of all, just get your picture in front of you and hold your pencil quite nice and loosely. And as I say, if you keep your hand uh, on the side of your palm and your little finger on the paper, it helps you to sort of just uh, keep grounded and, and gives you a bit of um, control over it. So, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but just start nice and lightly sketching out uh, this building. If it's not you know, if you make any mistakes or you think, well, oh, that's not quite right, don't worry about rubbing it out or anything. We can just, so I keep a nice light touch, first of all, and then we can go in and uh, just tighten the drawing up and so on. So we've just got these sort of three houses, well, two and a half houses. Uh, so again, keeping your, your hand on the paper, it just gives you a bit of stability as you're drawing. We've got these steps here leading in. We've got some trees and bushes here. Uh, then we've got, we've got the door there. And then we've got another door here, haven't we? And the window. And then this second or third house to the side. You can't see that much of that chimney behind that one so we're face on to it so we've not got any uh, perspective really to worry about apart from uh, the steps so you see my pencil's moving all the time I'm just trying to, to get an idea of it down on the paper so if it's a bit fatter or a bit taller don't worry about that when you do your windows don't draw every square in, pe in pencil because we can, we're going to do that in the pen so you can just sort of block it in like that and everything is a bit wobbly it's an old building nothing's going to be straight it's a bit like this building no right angles in this building particularly this window here it's very wobbly got our beams I don't know where this one is, it doesn't say. Anybody recognise it? It's like Warwick or something, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah that type of... Yeah. And then this door comes down a bit to there. And then we've got... The steps. We can't see the treads on the steps until they come down a bit and then we begin to see them. So when you think you've got it looking... There's another door there, isn't it? got it blocked in like that then you can go a little bit more um, firmer with your pencil strokes you can rub out those that are not quite right and you can just get things penciled in a little bit stronger because we're going to rub out the pencil once you've done the ink it doesn't matter too much if you've got a lot of lines on there Easily, and then the window. 
as I say they're a little bit a little bit wobbly so what we want to do is well, that's actually got like panes of glass in catching the light a little bit like these here you've got your uh, crosses done with your pencil you can just go in and make little squares to represent the panes of glass there leaving the white Shit, there's no I've got plenty of time on this. As I say last night it was perhaps a little bit more uh, complex than one, so it took a little bit longer to sketch out. And then um, take your time putting the ink in, and then we'll add some colour afterwards with the watercolour. And it's just a case of building it up. change it a bit or add a few more panes to your window or not enough it doesn't really matter it's just um it's just a starting point I 
Is that Sue? Yeah, it's me. There's no sort of time limit to it. So you can <laughs> spend all next week on it if you want. Don't have to finish it. a good thing to do uh, today before you, f you go home and it'll give it a chance to dry is to just put a bit of sky on. I know his don't appear to have any um, colour in the sky but I think it'd be nice to just put a little bit of blue in so just sort of set <coughs> so what I'm going to do is use a large brush and just wet doesn't matter if you go over the building because it's all a bit sort of loose and sketchy so I'm just going to put just clean water on the sky and then just pick up a bit of blue on your brush and you just yeah we'll just put a bit of dab it on don't be too worried about it we'll just add a little bit of color into the sky and then we'll just let that dry and then next week what we'll do we'll come in and we'll add some really strong bright colors into the building of course, what you could do as well before you put any watercolour on is uh, copy it, so scan it, print it out. I don't know how permanent the ink is, or printers, or photocopies, um, so you can try different colourways on it and so on. But don't rush it, there's no need to uh, you know, try and get it all done today. We've got plenty of time, we've got two weeks on it. So, so what I'm going to do is sketch it out lightly first of all then if you hold your pencil nice and, and loosely uh, let's say keep your your hand your little finger and your side of your palm on your sheet of paper it helps you to sort of um, control it a little bit more rather than sort of being up here and just using a little bit of your finger so I um, want to try and get a little bit of an exaggerated um, I was going to say exaggerated perspective, but it isn't actually, is it? It's just a bit, it's a little bit, actually it's opposite to perspective. It's a little bit top heavy at the top, which is what would normally be the opposite way. And there's the, that must be Julie. So just lightly, just sort of keep the pencil moving and block in this tower initially. So I'm keeping the pencil moving all the time. Don't worry about making mistakes or if things are a bit uh, too big or too thin um, because we're only doing it in pencil first of all and we can correct things and we just want to get something quickly down uh, to get help get the proportions and uh, the tower in position. So we've got these two entrances here and then we've got the perspective of the walls coming uh, closer to you so they're closer uh, at the edge of the paper so we've got this oscillations here Lock 
locking things in really quickly, not going into any great detail. You're just trying to get things. That's the, <laughs> that's the pencil sharpener dropped off, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, sorry. Yes. Thank you. 